And welcome everybody. Welcome to the second part of the season two intro. And we're currently at the north end of the island. It's just after daybreak. I'm going to show you the rest of what the state of the of our world, not just our island, our world is at the start of season two. And I am recording this on August 12th. It should be published within a couple of days. I am going to be finishing up season one and uploading more stuff, but I'm also going to be demonstrating doing season two. And simply put, well, we started recording this series in April and we've had all sorts of issues with recording, well, not so much recording, with editing. And they basically got backlogged in trying to get the episodes up and on YouTube for you to watch. And, well, I'm going to be giving you the current stuff in series season two at the same time that I'm adding the older stuff in season one. So let's take a look. I showed you around the island itself in part one. And you also saw me die on Alex's water vader over there. But I'm going to show you what else we have. Now, this sheep zone is basically going to be wiped out when 132 comes out. We're still using 131. We're still using 125 because of the bugs in 131. But just to take you a quickie, my standard loadout at this point has been revised a bit. These are the criticals. Generally speaking, when I run out of these, it's time to hit a home. Sand is kind of important for working with uh, caves. The helmet is a placeholder. I keep a respiration helmet on me at this point. I work in the water too much. It's 1230. Milk is a one-time cure for cave spiders, and it gets replaced by lava as I go in. This stuff is all discardable under normal operations and is base resupply when I'm working on supplying outposts and things. Chests, basically, just I keep two of them prepared so that if I ever need to, I can just plop down some chests, dump stuff in to make room. Um, wool and string. This, my st string is my long-term underground food supply. I make fishing rods with it. Wool is for beds. I keep wool normally because if I'm working with multiple, multiple people online, I want to be able to make sure that everybody can have a bed. I find I'm the only one who carries beds around. I'm solo today, so I'm, I've got just a bed instead. And as I said, mushrooms, trees, all of these things go into either into an outpost or placed around an outpost. And oddly enough, I put eggs in outposts when I need to, just to make sure that no matter what happens, no matter what horrors befall me, I've got stuff to work with. Alrighty. So, the train station has been finished. The far end has taken a creeper hit, and I will show you what it looks like and also what the creeper hit looks like. And it's I will be fixing that creeper in a bit. So here is the train tracks. And we kept running out of room on that island for large projects. And I'll give you an example of what I mean by a large project. Now this, as I said, I, I blew up a cre cre creeper over there. That house, we've got a third person playing on our server now. And the beach got a little something. This little section, this little walkway, it's hard to see when you have the grass sides on. Better grass makes it hard to see that, unfortunately. So one of the things I'll need to do is properly torch it and mark it. But, yeah. So heading down here, 
need to make that a little safer. This area comes down pretty much to about 80 to 80. So I've got a large project which is going to be fitting underneath 80. And I've done some scoping. Just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about when I say large project. See that waterway down there? This cave side, cliff side that I'm walking along is basically going to be the edge of it. Eighty is going to be my stay be stay below limit point. Here is the water. I don't expect to come I don't expect to be joining the water to the ocean, but I do expect to be using everything along this wall. That means, among other things, that I'm going to have to light up and dig out all these caves just to keep it safe. I've got a survey marker there with some coordinates on it to give me a reminder of where I'm going to. All of this is going to get lit up. As I said, I have a big project in mind for season two, and I'm going to have to clean up. And I'm pretty much taking up, I'm pretty much going to be taking up this whole section. Pretty much up to here. I'm not going into that cave overhang area. But pretty much this wall, roughly up to here. So I've got a large project in mind that I'm going to have to do some digging for. And it's starting to get dark. So let's head back home. Or, yeah, this is just an... This is primarily an introduction to the rest of the island. And I will show you around the Season 2 base in a moment. First, I want to head back home. This whole area is going to need some fairly major cleanup. Because at the moment, it's hard to move around. And yeah. so heading up this way. And let me show you a quick little look around this house. They've got some various supplies here. Things going on. Alrighty. So we head back home before it gets dark. As I said, I got I caught a creeper here once already, and it befalls on me to repair the creeper damage. And one issue, unfortunately, with this track is that the carts have a tendency to go one space too far. All right, so that is the top side of the island. And as I said, my big project that I am going to be working on is over there. So the next thing that I want to show you is our new base. And our new base is going to be hidden. You can find it. The world download will be available. You can take a look around and see if you can locate it. But I will see you there in just a minute. Welcome back. And you might wonder why I'm looking at a blank wall. This wall is pretty much the limit of the construction point. This is the series two, the season two base. 
We've this was basically built over the course of a month by Alex and Anon. And the island is just too small. So we've got a couple of chests lying around. Not much in them for the most part. Although let's get the clay where it belongs. And I'm not going to go crazy trying to do cleanup. This is just a looking around. We have a furnace room over here. And the furnace room is complete with an enchanting table. We've been doing low level enchantments, so we've got torches out. Our furnace wall basically makes sure that we have plenty of furnaces to cook things. And this will become a potion area at some point. We don't have blaze rods yet, so we don't have potions. We've got a central staircase. And I was not the one who built the central staircase. It is sadly a spiral system. It's got some redstone controlled water vaders for going down that work reasonably well, but going up is a disaster. And so I'm going to be ripping out this current three by three spiral staircase and making a five by five, probably using a minecart elevator system. We have our storage room and you may not see it here. So you can see there's a down arrow here. I don't really know why it's so hard to get signs to light up well. That's the down. And this is the up. So going down, simple water break. And here we have our storage room. Alex designed the storage layout, not me. We've got wood, processed wood, doors, signs, and ladders. Wood will have the three types of wood that we have. We still have not gone to a jungle yet. Processed wood at the moment is wood planks and fences. Doors, signs, and ladders. Processed wood will contain, well, I thought processed wood would contain all the things you can make from colored wood. But we have separate stairs and slabs over here. And we need to get all the various colored wood stairs and slabs when they come out. So most of the stuff here, dirt and gravel, sand will be going there eventually. Stone, various types of stone. Flint and coal. Most of the stuff on this wall is blocks. Stairs and stone, dirt, sand, stairs and slabs, and so on. These really are not blocks. These are not really blocks. One of my clay and brick. Now, clay and brick over here versus everything else that you make for your blocks. Stone, dirt, wood. Utilities are just sur surplus stuff. And this is not glass. So yeah, this is Alex's design. I will be coming in and making some changes. I'll be putting all building, all round blocks basically Things that you can walk on, jump on, build on, will be going along this wall. And Anon is fond of roses. Alex is fond of TNT. And I'm fond of pumpkins. 
We don't have much in here at the moment, but we will. Here are the thingies. Hostile mob drops. And if you don't know, we have a plugin that gives us damaged leather armor from, from zombies who have damage reduction, damaged chain armor from zombies who make the clinking sounds, from skeletons who make the clinking sounds. We're collecting some gunpowder and so on. Potions. Oop. Potions. Empty. Now, on the, for whatever reason, on this wall it's fairly easy to read, and on this wall it's not. I don't really understand why. But I have a cat on the keyboard. Give me a second. Okay. Cat. There we go. So we've got seeds of various kinds. Lighting, which is currently empty. Metals and ores. So we're doing a reasonably good job on our metal supply. Weapons. At the moment, we don't really have anything spare in the weapons. Tools. As I said, Alex was the one who designed this layout, and I will be going through and cleaning it up. All right. Over here, we've got some nether rack. Not much else. We don't have nearly enough redstone. Things to do with redstone. Over here, where it says music and paintings, this is our current wool layout. Best layout for colors we have able to, been able to come up with. Black white grayscale, the light colors in the middle, the dark colors around the edges. Magenta purple, light blue, dark blue, lime, dark green, cyan is just the oddity, yellow brown, pink red. There really is only one shade of orange and only one shade of cyan. Four shades of gray. And this is pretty much the best representation of color, of the Minecraft colors that we have been able to come up with. Try doing your sheep in this pen arrangement. Transportation is minecart stuff. And what do we have in this? Saddles. Every saddle has been legitimately attained from dungeon chests. Cocoa beans have been legitimately attained from dungeon chests. So this is what our storage room looks like. Now, we've got a staircase from here down to the common room. And I'll show you what that looks like in just a moment. This is just holding down shift key until you come up and out. The water slows a little to push you out. And that is floor one, foyer, storage, utilities, our furnaces, our storage room, and so on. And so I can see where I'm pointing. And as I said, we've got a nice water vader that safely takes you down. Floor two, the commonplace, bedrooms. Here is Anand's bedroom. She likes it all pinkish purple and her little rose garden. And a room for construction of whatever she's going to construct. And 
Alex keeps his bedroom hidden behind the fireplace. I don't know why it's open. And we've got my room has yet to be constructed. Staircase back up to storage. Going down. One more floor. And this is basically the kitchen. So we've got a hallway for construction in progress. Some mushrooms growing. Nothing really happening down here at the moment. There was some ore here that got mined out, and we haven't done anything with it yet. And I just heard a zombie. So there's a monster cave around here somewhere. And let's get some stairs up. Wrong type of stair for over here, but it's the only type I have on me. All right. This is a secondary garden. As I said, Anon loves roses. Has not been finished yet. We have found a skeleton dungeon and are fighting to earn bone meal to finish it. And I thought I had collected all the sheep. We have had massive leakage, even with two high pens. Massive leakage. I'm not going to open this door. So you're not going to see the sheep room at this point. We have a small garden. And the redstone wiring for this got damaged, unfortunately, due to a water leak. Has not been fixed yet. We've got a small mushroom farm over here. This mushroom farm is more for show than anything else. Needs a little work. Over here in the kitchen, This, this side over here is where we will be storing potions. It has, it, this is a little bar where we can serve things to people and store things. We've got a potion brewing area. And at the moment, as I said, we have no blaze rods. So nothing in here. Well, stuff for potions, some empty bottles, the bar is called the dotted dash, no miners allowed. This is our food place where we serve food of various kinds. Over here, we store all the things that a vegetarian would want. Meat for the people who like steaks. Chicken. Pork. Fish. 
And I don't think we ever came up with a use for this last one. It's just sitting there. So yeah, we've seen the garden, the farm, the sheep, and an in-progress idea. Got one more level to look at. This floor doesn't look like much. This is a mine shaft. Alex tamed a good deal of this mine shaft solo. We discovered that it is huge. We actually, I actually cheated and looked at a map or just to get an idea of the size of this of this mine shaft. He has roughly a third of it tamed, and as part of part of my building project for season two. I have been promised that I can turn it into my wahaha evil lair. <clears throat> yes, I have I have some ideas in mind. I won't say they're ideas that would make Vex proud, but I've got an idea for things that I want to do with it. And yeah. The idea of only going up by half slabs means that it takes a very long time to walk up these ladders. They are exceedingly inconvenient and slow. So as I said, one of my one of my early projects in season two is going to be ripping out this three by three staircase and the outer wall and making a five by five that has faster up and down. And I'm probably going to do a minecart up and a straight water drop down. And I need to figure out how to work several floors so that you can go down to where you want to go and then back up to where you want to go. So that is a look at our base. And this is where we will be hanging out on season two when we're not finishing off the caves. And this is the area where we've got construction projects. So I'm not sure exactly what Alex and Anon are going to be building. I do know that neither of them is expected to get much playtime in over the next two months. They both have fairly busy schedules. So you're going to see a lot of solo play over the next two, uh, two months. Can't be helped, but more to the point, you will be seeing some solo play. And I just realized I'm kind of low on food, so the very nice thing about mushrooms, if you don't know this already, if you don't know this already, two mushrooms, pretty much two mushrooms do, pretty oh. much make you full. In fact, not just pretty much. If you can drink two mushroom stews, you have all 40 units of food in use. You are as full as you can get. So mushrooms are really, really nice. You can do the same thing with two loaves of bread or two chickens, but it's harder to eat, or even two fish, but it's harder to eat those, not so much the fish, but certainly the bread and the chicken, because they each take three full hunger shanks. So you need to have three and a half hunger shanks empty before you can eat two of them. Whereas mushroom stew, you only need to have, um, I'm sorry, I think I have that backwards. I think I have that backwards. Mushroom stew, you need four, 
four hunger shanks per stew. So you need four and a half hunger shanks empty. Chicken is, I believe, was it four and a half or five? At four and a half, I believe. Anyways, I don't remember exactly. The point being, mushroom stew is the easiest way that I know of to get full. So let's head back to storage and drop some stuff off. And you may notice I'm being very careful to back into the corner before I activate this. Part of the issue we have discovered is that it is possible to hurt yourself if you're not in the corner. And storage is over here. So, bowls, extra wood. And where did my brown mushrooms go? I left the brown mushrooms upstairs at the crafting bench, didn't I? Yeah. All right. So let's put the rest of the stuff away in storage. All right, so we have clay. You've seen what we're looking like as we start season two. And one of the big things that you will set season two apart from season one is just better quality audio. I've learned how to make much better audio than I had in season one. Thank you for, for, thank you for joining me on this little tour. And This is where I'm going to be building my bedroom. Personal touch. Not really sure exactly what to do yet, but I'll plan out something. I'm really surprised that Alex left his room open. He normally keeps it closed, but you've now seen it. And you've seen Anon's room. All right. So, Join us for construction on season two, and you will see a lot more stuff being built. And I hope to take you at, le at least one caving trip through the uh, mine shaft. I'm going to, my goal is to turn it into a large place for building stuff with tunnels, and I don't really know what I'm going to put in there yet. Alrighty. So. Thank you for joining us, and we will see you as round for Season 2.